monthly meeting of the Hadley Climate Change Committee. Uh, we'll open with public comment. Well, you met me at town meeting. Yeah. All I just want to say, <clears throat> I'm not opposed to organized efforts to promote uh, non-fossil fuel energy, all right? Not opposed to it in the least. I think it's wonderful. My entire purpose, why I spoke at town meeting and gave out <laughs> your effort with the article, it's this, put it in a nutshell. I think that the timetable is extremely unrealistic. And 2050 sounds like a long time from now, but our governor and other officials have stated openly that we need to move very fast on this in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I honestly think it's going to cause a total catastrophe. Starting, We're starting to see it in France and in Germany, um, what's happening over there. And again, my, my major concern, there's the effort I listened to at town meeting seemed very benign, all right? Fine, why not? But there's no way that the agenda that is proposed by the state, there's absolutely no way that this ever is going to happen without very heavy-handed mandates and penalties. Right now, everything looks good. It's voluntary. I'll oh, help well, we you get a grant. You want to do solar panels, all that. That all sounds wonderful to me, but there's absolutely no way that we're going to make the major change that the goal is, is reaching for, especially a lot of it in the next 10 years, without incredible mandates and penalties. And I'll, I'll, be, I'll shorten this down now just to one practical story where, where I am concerned. For an example, this is not armchair philosophy with me, all right? <clears throat> Again, old house, 1700s, a uh, good deal of it's insulated, not all. Uh, picture trying to heat a lobster trap, and you'll understand what I'm up against, all right? Boilers old, uh, consulted some experts. There's a boiler being produced in Germany right now. It's being sold in America. They guarantee me, and I believe it, because I happen to know the people who looked into this, it will cut my fossil fuel consumption by half per year. Very attractive to me. However, the boiler alone is, is $10,000, right? Did they say the name? Is it Baderas? I don't remember. But, okay. but, okay. but regardless, the yeah. point is, um, whether it's this boiler issue or whatever, I'm hesitant to move forward to do anything major that's going to cost me because what's going to okay and like i talked to can michael I go ahead ask, yeah. have you been in touch with mass save oh i i'm familiar with all that but but also but more you know like i, I spoke with michael doctor after town meeting and you know his comment to me was alan nobody's going to come to your farm and tell you you can't use your diesel tractor right. however Zero means zero. Nobody's going to do that. But now let's put a syntax on fossil fuel so that diesel is permanently $15 a gallon to discourage me. Let's stop deliveries coming across the border from other states. Wonderful effort to get alternative fuel. Poor timetable. Unachievable without very heavy-handed mandates and penalties that's where i stand so i just want to ask you did you have an energy audit with mass no i, I have not oh. do you realize they'll pay for 75 i realize i do know that i do know that. i mean even if you don't change out your board, no, I've, I've looked i'm <laughs> currently looking into all of that yeah, but, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's like yeah yeah she's making the house sure to be able to save you money now, even if you don't go solar. I had I had that. Okay. And I had the same thing you got. I had an old I got a new boiler. Okay. Uh, I had a two thousand gallon tank. All of a sudden I later all of a sudden I'm the enemy. You're never right. never had any problem. I was one of those guys who could call up and, and you know, I got my fuel and I didn't have to worry for a year and a half. Jeez, get a new boiler. 
can't have it, can't have that oil tank. I've got to pay to pull it out of the ground. I've got to wait, get why can't wait, wait, wait. Because you can't get insurance, it's and you can't get insurance because yeah, that is what they leak. Uh, I think yeah, any, so, any, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's where you get the oil from, you get it from the ground anyway. Uh, so I've got to pull it out, and uh, Boston tells me I can't. You know, my legislators they make sure that they, however the insurance works out, you can't have it. And what's really ticking me off right now is diesel fuel and fuel oil. It's cheaper to manufacture than gas oil. And why are they doing this? Why are they having, having it a uh, dollar fifty, almost two dollars more a gallon? Well, everybody's complaining. We're getting gouged. Why? So they can make more money. <clears throat> I, don't, I think it's. I don't think it's that. I think they want to force us to go the other way. I think they want to. Uh, I don't. Well, that will happen. Is my point. They're going to force you to go, and and I can't see electrical power. Uh, I don't know, I'm probably ignorant. It'll happen after I'm dead, you know. But uh, I can't see him plowing snow in an electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. I can't see him pulling an eight-pound plow with a with a. I, I can't see that. And for for you folks, I brought something that I'm going to let you pass around. Don't cut yourself. Okay. You, <laughs> all of us, if we really want to know about global warming, all right? Talk to the guy made this point and used it. This is Clovis fluted, Paleolithic, minimum 10,000 years old, not a reproduction, real thing. You can pass that around. Wimba. Where'd you get this? I got it from someone who found it. I didn't find it. But Wayne Goulet has a point just like that, made out of a cocoa-colored stone that was found on one of his fields. Oldest antiquity in the state of Massachusetts. But the point is, people that use that they migrated <laughs> into New England, and they climbed up Mount Holyoke Range and looked north, they could see the ice shield. It was about 40 miles north of Brattleboro. We think we know something about global warming. Talk to this guy. He knew a lot more about global warming than we do. Right. Other public comments? I know everybody's saying about mass safe, mass safe. If everybody looks at their electrical, the distribution and all the fees is more than your usage. Delivery charge. Delivery charge. Delivery yeah. charge. Everybody says mass safe. It's not free because you're getting insulation done on your house. You're getting new light bulbs. It's a kitty for everybody that's a taxpayer in Massachusetts. So we're all contributing to all of that. I've got a newer house. I couldn't apply for anything. So it's a little discouraging. What? When you're when you're talking, I had a newer house and mine's well insulated, so so you don't I, need it. So I, I couldn't get anything where someone could go about and get, you know, a three thousand dollar insulation job for five hundred dollars because you're paying for it. You're paying for yeah, it. Yeah, but that, paying. that delivery fee isn't only paying for mass save. It's paying for pipelines and it's paying to fix the grid. We're they're making us pay for it. R R and D, correct. Um, I actually had a customer today because I do heating and air conditioning and he has a heat pump, electric heat pump. And he's saying it's 35 degrees outside. How come it's not blowing hot enough air? He's got a bad mind. No, he doesn't. He's got a $10,000 heat pump. No, but it might need an adjustment. It I've been doing this for 30 years. Okay. So I understand what, what needs to be done. Oh, below so, so what needs to be done? Well, I'm telling him that heat pumps, they, which is based on electric, it's not a fossil fuel, yeah. heat pumps for the Northeast are not ideal. They're just not. They've had them for the past 50 years, and they've always been said anything below 30 degrees, and I know technology's up there where they can get them to wind down more. Will it run longer? But so will your electric. Mm. It will be much more. Every, I have to every, disagree with that because I have the one third less uh, on my bill, and they work at 10, 15 below zero. I still have a warm house, and I have five. So I, I have to disagree. What brand is it? Fujitsu. How old are they? Five years old, six years old. With the rebates that they're saying through Mass Safe, 
they're willing to give you a $10,000 rebate. But what they're expecting you to do is to completely cut down and shut off all of your fossil fuels. Oh, I know. I have a friend all of who, who didn't participate. So for, you're going to be getting a $10,000 rebate. And you're going to be spending $25,000 for mini split systems and whatever it is for a system. So, yeah, you're getting a $10,000 cutback, but now you're still spending fifteen, ten dollars to $15,000 out of your own pocket because of somebody's making you do something that you have no control of. When everybody uses natural gas, propane, or oil, everybody's due diligent about how much they have in their tank because how much it costs at their own control. Okay, I know it's 50, it's cold outside. I want to set my house to 55 degrees because I don't want the pipes to freeze. But when you're at the control of National Grid, Eversource, power is always going to be going up and price is always going to be going up. We'll have no control where you look at your bills, your expenses are more for the delivery charges, the, the kitty for, you know, the mass save, you know, for everybody else. And your usage is less than half. The big one is really, there's a couple of main charges. The mm -hmm. other things are cents on a dollar. It's really the delivery fee and the supply charge. That's, those are the two big. Our infrastructure every... for electric is not up to what they want us to be of being net zero at 2050. Oh, not even close. We're not even close. So you're pushing something that our national grid and power companies don't have control to be able to put out for the demand. Oh, everybody, everybody, that. everybody years ago wanted to go about and they got natural gas, pro, mainly natural gas to not have to pay for the oil prices. So what they do, okay, rebates, rebates, let's push this natural gas system, but what they do, they were flooded. Now for the past 12 years, we've had a moratorium. Can't have any more gas. Anyway, what's your point? My only point is that we are gonna be having uh, no control over mandates, high expenses when it comes to electric bills, that I believe if we say that we're going, the town being green, what is the town as taxpayers, what are we getting out of it? And also what are we losing? Is all of a sudden, if we're going to the town, to the state saying we're green because we've got this green sticker and they're gonna say, well, now that you're complying to being green, we can give you money for grants, but you have to do what we tell you to do. We want all of your municipal buildings to go from natural gas or oil to being electric. So all those fuel costs are going to be more. The taxpayers, they have to get more money. They're going to raise taxes because of that. We don't know what they're offering by us having us being green. Well, actually, they're not, they're not so offering us anything. Yet. There are all kinds of reports out there. If you have the patience to read the report of pages, they do tell you, explain all these things. But I think what we hope is that our municipal buildings will not just go electric, but they will go solar and electric. I mean, that, that's the way to really save money. If you make the investment in solar, then all the electrical stuff doesn't cost you a penny. I think it's just going to evolve to that. Whether, I mean, I'm afraid of it. It's like gas, you know, the, the electric companies, when, when there's a surge, they can just turn up the get you know they there's a way to handle our electric use it makes me nervous having it thinking about it all solar and wind then we're dependent on batteries it's like oh my god keep an eye on the time because public comment last meeting it used up a whole meeting right this yeah. meeting is not going to use up right. this whole yeah, meeting yeah. at 7 30 it's Understood. done and we move on so is your point, it, it's not worth it to make any switch to, it, electrifying isn't worth it. Before we say for the town to being green, what is the benefits to the taxpayers and the town and what are we giving up because okay. of that? What control are we losing that the so, state so, makes demands? Instead of responding, we want yeah. to hear from everyone. Yeah. And then we can actually like take of all course. the questions and you know, do our research, come back to you, 
post for yeah. information. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. that it's important to hear your concerns, yeah. but I also don't think we have enough time, nor do we have yeah. all the information. Are, are we doing yeah. this to be green? Doing what? Are, green. Is this a green community right now? No. no. Yeah. Well, they That's what the last vote was for. Yeah. Back when I was a selectman, I think that uh, they asked us to to uh, participate in some kind of a survey or something, and we would be considered a green community. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah, yeah, no, I'm not that that that's 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 the way of that. work. From what I know, we're going to be green certified regardless of this committee. Well, that's not true either. We no, have, we to, have do to do the right thing to do that. Well, right. So here's what we've been doing. Basically, said to a group that having would have to be a green or would become a green certified community. Working All right. Yeah. So, so in Hampshire County, there are two communities that. That's what we're doing. In Hampshire County, there are two communities that aren't green. South Hadley, they have their own electric company mm -hmm. and all that, and us. Every other community. And even into Franklin County, if you ride into Leverett, they have the green community stickers. Sunderland has the green community stickers. A lot of these places went green a decade or even more ago. So what it means is um, there's millions of dollars in grants every year that Hadley can't apply for. We just can't because until you get the green community status, you don't have the option. All right. What they have, what we've been having the electric company do is come through and they've been evaluating all the older town buildings so not this building not the library not the new north hadley fire station but all dpw um i think the pump stations the town hall to see if there's insulation if there's other things that they can do to make them cost us less on an annual basis more energy efficient. so what does what do these green communities get that we don't well, they get money, um, and one of the things I'm here for, same reason I was here last time, the dike, the dike, the dike. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to have more research on the dike. The dike needs to be fixed. FEMA, um, the emergency response people say it's their biggest concern for having one big storm, one big hurricane coming up the valley, one big flooding event north of us. Hadley is really very vulnerable, and we need money to fix that. FEMA, FEMA though, what? Uh, yes. No, we're going to get yeah. it through the yeah. so When it comes to the green community stuff, that's not costing us anything. They're actually providing us free engineering to say, what's your energy use? How much are you spending on electricity? What's the cost of gas for all the different buildings? So you're saying about with the grants, they're not going to give us money. So unless we actually are being made green, they're not going to give us money to fix the dike? Is that what you're saying? No, no, I'm not saying it. I'm no. saying I would like us to be positioned in line instead of not in line to get money to fix it. Yeah, but see, that's what, what I don't understand. The dike has nothing to do with fossil fuel. No, it's it, has to do with, it has to do with being the climate changing. There are aspects to climate change. All right, but, right. but are you saying that we can't get the funds we need Unless this town is declared green. No. I'm not. We're not saying that at all. Okay. okay? As far as but I am saying that some of the older buildings, okay, the money that we'll get yeah. if we qualify as a green community, right. okay, if we're one of the last 15, 18, 20% of the Massachusetts towns that qualify, we will get $130,000 that we can use toward fixing up some of these old buildings. Also, that we can get grants would be better positioned, <clears throat> not guaranteed. The more we do, the more we can get. Better position to be in line for money to fix the dike. Uh, going so, back to the dike, though, yeah. I was there happened to be a selector when we had that crack in the dike and we had to get it fixed mm -hmm. and all that. Well, the Army Corps of Engineers built that dike. Right. They want nothing to do with us. Right. That's right. Well, because they, the town signed it over, they yeah. say. They, they want nothing to do with us. You couldn't even get them out here to look at it. That's why we had to be. Yeah, but there's, yeah, there's a program for that. It's called the Municipal Viability Program, and we can get millions from them. We just have to apply for it. That's where we're going to get help for the dike. Yeah. And so there's like four more, four more minutes in the first half hour. Any other public comments? It, that just seems funny that for us to be green, they're going to give us money. And if not, they're going to let it flood out. 
no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, that's what it just sounded like to you. It's like, oh, for us to get more money for grants to pay for the dike, we've got to be green. Well, anyway, they, they, they the committee here is trying to protect Hadley, mm -hmm. protect us, knowing that changes are coming, changes are coming very fast. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to say what we can do as a team, as a citizen, to really put, put, put in a position to protect your house, your land, your farm, our roads. So we are saying like something big is coming because you have seen it is coming. So what we can do? So we start with baby steps. Saving saving uh money with the heating in the in the buildings, um, getting uh, some um, protection this way, and then like you are saying. How we position ourselves to something happening today. That we I heard that a female is not going to get involved and protect and give any money to something happen here. I don't know if you're aware of that. So this is big and scary. Yeah. Good points, except FEMA is responsible for the dike. And so we should no, have a contact, no, right? The town no, owns the dike. The no, the dike. Mr. Deb Cabot, doesn't the town own the dike? I believe so. Okay, that's it. I mean, more unusual. In a lot of places, the town doesn't own, right, right. or the city doesn't it's own the dike. I could be wrong because I thought we said that we wanted um, the, uh, what do you call it, the, the guys that built it, but uh, they won't have anything. But, but this is one humongous issue for Hadley that the fact that the town owns it, that nobody wants to kind of claim credit for it, and who's going to take responsibility and who's going to repair that's a federal and all that. project. It's a federal problem. Yeah, but yeah. that's this. what's confusing. Is is a, a I agree with you on the dike, but I would think we would be dealing directly with FEMA. No, nope. no, no. Okay, they number two, we don't they have a help us out on this. Oh, wow. But there is a program that will, and actually, Carolyn is working. Carolyn Brown is working <clears> as an engineer now yeah. on plans for the dike. Okay. We don't hear much about it, but it, there's stuff going on. Okay. Um, all right. Second point is South Hadley and Hadley together is 23,000 people. What's wrong with 23,000 people not wanting to go along with this? Hamden County, our neighbors to the south, there's nothing about green going on in Hamden County. That's not true. I've went Just through layers at, of no, town. If you look at the map, you will see that 80% of the counties statewide have already done it. I've looked at They've Hamden done everything. County. Okay, so I don't the see thing it. is... Becoming a green community is really not that big of a deal. All it does is encourage us to make our municipal buildings more energy efficient. That means insulation, light bulbs. It isn't mandating that we upgrade the heating systems or put solar on the buildings or anything no. like that. Right, right. Okay. No, it's... Okay, so, so hold on. Okay. Together a list of... It, it, People are very skeptical. But it's well, we anything. We'll get 130. There's 290 out of 351 Massachusetts cities and towns that are already considered green. They've gone through this whole five step process and they've done everything. And Hadley is four steps done and one to go. We're having the energy auditors finishing up everything in these next couple of weeks to see what advice they can give us on how to improve our energy costs and lower some of those bills. I guess I, I'm just confused by, you. we're trying to save money. I mean, these are the things that my Bapchi and Jaji used to talk about all the time. You try to save money because it's silly to, you know, toss it away. I, I think I can shed some light on your confusion. Yeah. And the town know, meeting, and come on up. Here's a list of all the Hamden so, County and all the state towns yeah. that are green. Declaration, that's a totally different at, thing. Right. At the town meeting, you folks made a presentation. Right. It has nothing to do with the conference. Okay. That was That's clearing different. up a lot of the confusion. Okay. That is a totally different thing. Okay. And it's on the back. It didn't. So it's on the back. I thought that's the whole thing was about being green was at that meeting. No. You know, seriously, this, this is important. There, there is confusion for me. What you're talking about tonight doesn't really bother me. The town meeting was very political and a much larger program. The whole goal of zero by 2050, you're not about that? 
No, that didn't. Here's all the that that pain. Everyone that's been with say so most of about that because that's it's yeah. a law. Right. So, so it's okay. Do. No. Uh, let's let's get, uh, I vote for you. Wait, say right. something. A lot of people use the term green. It's like a slang. Yeah. You know, like we're going green. I mean, what does that mean? You're getting solar or something like that. That when we say becoming a green community, it is a specific designation with the Mass uh, Department of Environmental Protection. You have done certain things in your community, and so we Thanks, check you. you off okay. as a green community, and we'll give you one hundred thirty thousand dollars to do right. a little bit more. That's it. That's pretty much it. Um, but it has it's a totally it's. It is a state program that we can participate in that doesn't make us do anything. It incentivizes us to do things. It will pay us to do things. Yes, I do. But I mean, you know, I had did not get. And when I say as a town meeting at all, not at all. I didn't get this perception of town meeting in the least. Which is the question? Are we discussing Article Twelve? that you presented at town meeting? Are we discussing your mission statement? Like what is your blueprint we're, right now? We're not going over our mission statement right now. Article 12, are you talking from the warrant? Um, what you brought up at town meeting that we're all so going to hurry to? Declaration, emergency yeah. declaration. We're not talking about that at all. Is this, off, is this done pass. off that the table? table right pass. now it's not yeah. on the table. We are moving okay. on, we're doing other we're trying to get the mission actual. This is a nightmare. I learned something tonight. Yeah. 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 Mission statement. Yeah. And what? No, we're, we're not no, working no, on it. You know, I'm happy to read the mission statement. I have it. I have it. Not necessary. Oh, okay. I was just going to say the mission statement. Well, I mean, this has been very helpful. I learned something. Yeah, we're not pushing that declaration anymore. All right. So we're not. You know, it was about a half dozen years ago, something like that, that Christian Stanley had this idea and. He helped come up with a mission statement when he was on the select board. And he said, look at the town's current ecological footprint. And I take that to read as where are we wasting money? Where are we not being efficient in our different buildings? And there are some buildings for this town that are not efficient. Assemble and explain information regarding potential actions the town might take to reduce our ecological footprint. That's why we're going after this thing that they should have gone after 10, 15 years ago with this green communities that so many different towns have. 80% of Massachusetts towns have said, sure, we'll, we'll agree to this. Thanks for your help. And then help the town evaluate, choose, and implement actions to promote sustainable practice. The last one for our mission statement is monitor changes in the town's ecological footprint over time. How can we get better? How can we get better? To become more efficient, save the town yeah, money. I would like a new copy because I'm looking at the draft dated August 18th mission statement. Wait, so if you do want... not confuse our this committee's mission statement with that declaration. Yeah, you can you can just get rid just of that. throw the declaration it's, away. It's it not happen. Happen. mission statement. It's it's right. It's on. It's on the agenda. It's right at the top of the. Yeah. Yes. Do you have a Yeah, I have the agenda. So that's that's our mission okay. statement. Just that thing right there. The declaration did not pass. We're not working on it now. We're we're just moving on. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. okay, you don't want it. We're not doing. It. So what's the difference between that vote that we had and here, where at the same time, like I was saying, is, is that confusion? We had that vote for. Having the town being green, right? Isn't that what the no. whole? No, oh. I mean, that's not what that vote was no. about. Climate it crisis. crisis. It was a climate crisis. Mary, climate and crisis and declaration. There's Admitting there's a climate. Many towns in the state of Massachusetts and the country and the world that have stated a declaration, an emergency declaration, which basically it's symbolic, which is saying we're in a crisis, and so we're going to use this to guide us it's not it's not it's not a mandate it what it's wasn't meant to be a mandate it was meant to be sort of a sort or of a declaration a declaration to get commitment right yeah get and also get to to you to basically say okay if the town signs on everything every decision we make we will use we will look think through that lens yeah think this okay way. which 
on many levels, that's what this committee is about, which is like, we're gonna always look at through that lens, but the town has not declared it. We are not, we have not declared it. We are just like doing our best to do what we can for this town and the citizens to protect our, to lower our costs, to become more efficient, to try to to try to do what we can to to cut the you know potential emergency that is climate change in whatever ways we can. That's and and have the town try to be as accountable for that as possible. But there's no mandates. There's no nobody coming down saying you must do this or you can't do that. I don't see that as a there, there's so many issues, but please don't get those things. Well, that's the, that's the whole total confusion. Well, I, 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 I just need to pay the that's, yes. You know, it it's a climate crisis declaration, and those are those words. Becoming a green community is is a specific. It's just a, a little process on the side. You We're know, doing that with we Mass Departments of Energy Resources. Called two different things, completely different. Yeah, but completely. I think that the, the real thing to say here is that the, that that emergency declaration that you have in your lab it didn't pass a town meeting, and therefore we're not working on that anymore. So you can put it in the recycling bin, not even worry about that, and we're moving on to the things that are in the agenda. Yes. That for this yes. And so did you guys get a chance to look at the agenda? All right. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. I'm so no, glad. I'm glad. hugely glad that you guys no. came and, and yeah. didn't no, realize yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm still holding so, on to thinking that that was no. possible. And now, are you still carbon copying the politicians? What? No. Uh, so that I can remember. In that declaration, so, also in the mission statement, the last page is a carbon copy to all the top Massachusetts so, politicians, which leads people to believe it will be mandated. Yeah, quite literally. Just, just we're not doing out. anything. Yeah, we're it, but that we're trying to understand. We're trying to shut us out. We're like, forget about it. Don't worry about that. Help us understand it's the separation of the we're two. We're not carbon copying to any. We didn't send it to anybody because it didn't pass. It didn't. So therefore, you, you, well, it's yeah, it's not it's not a not that, that it does copy to yeah. senators and so forth. Right. Only pertain to that document. That doesn't mean. Yeah, like all of our agendas go to Joe Comfort or something. Like, yeah, yeah. I almost thought that when I read it. Right. That Comfort wrote it. Right. I think it was confusing. I mean, that's yeah. what whereas, whereas, whereas <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't necessary. And yeah. I think it cost some stress. All right, so, so let's, let's, move let's move on. on. Let's move on. Anyway, we're not doing that. Yeah. So, what are our next priorities? Do and we're know. happy to listen to what. People are saying, what other things should we be working on for this year? Identify the buildings that are abusing electricity loss. Who need to be more energy efficient? Yeah. That's is there a list? Well, we're in the process of that yeah. audit. So right hold now. on. This is what they're focused on. I got it because they are trying to do this this week into next week. Let me see if I can call it up. So this fellow they are working on, Hopkins. They are working on Hadley Elementary. They are working on the town hall. And they're not saying that these buildings are all bad, but they are going in and saying, what's your energy use? All that. They're looking at the DPW yard and they're looking at public safety. Those are the five oldest buildings in town. Now, this is excluding all the pump stations. I think there's 13, 14 pump stations. Yeah, the pump stations really are minuscule compared to these. Well, it, it was actually minuscule. sort of surprising seeing sort of the first pass, but these are like the five biggest buildings that they're checking on first. So we just wait to hear the report. Take it. And, and you're looking at energy consumption. They must give us a electrical, gas, um, fuel oil. Loss. Who's our loss? Well, just use. Energy too. building loss. Yeah. And ways to reduce, yeah. reduce right. that consumption. Yep. But it was from Brian West. I think he had said those same things at town meeting. He said, you know, look at energy loss in the different buildings. Mm -hmm. And we were already in the process because I'll tell you, it's not always easy getting some of these consultants. But they're actually not charging any fee to go through and do the audit. What we got? Mm -hmm. Other things? 
but that's the next thing. Yeah, that's that's and complicated. We need to hear from Carol and its own committee. Yeah. I'm, do you live on I West Street? No, but I do. Yeah. <laughs> if I were you, <laughs> I would have evacuation yeah. plans in the canoe. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's hard not to watch everything that's going down in California. I know. With the fact that in 16 days, they got six months worth of rain mm -hmm. and seeing everybody swim by. Go ahead, Dan. With the deck. I was on the Conservation Commission for a very long time. Bless you. <laughs> and if the only way to alleviate that is not really to fix what you have is to take it and go south um, past the bridge and around to, yeah. you know, Hadley, you go to the bank. And I don't know if you know what the bank is. The bank is the back in the middle street, like behind right. your house. That's the bank. Oh, like go around over there? Correct. Right. And then when you do that, they're going to want to find someplace, you know, the water that doesn't come in, you're going to have to come up with uh, some kind of a plan. Where is that going to go? Correct. And... We had the flood. I was just discussing this. I think it was 86 or 84. 84. And where I live in Hakanum, you know, where the sign is that says how high the flood water mm -hmm. is. Well, I pulled my house. I moved it because it had several layers of water damage in it. It's wow. back in 1812, all right? So I put it up on top of the hill. And two years later, we had this flood. In the next dry land west is 91. And that's what they want. They want us to have the water. So Chicopee and Holyoke and Springfield doesn't flood. That's part of the things. With you the mean let it flood in Hatfield? Or flood in Hatfield and Northampton. Right. So, I know that we were it's talking right. about that before because I know all the dams are privatized. To knowing that if there's a hurricane or flash flood or whatever it is, but talking to everybody about <clears throat> Turner's Falls oil dam mm -hmm. and all down the river to saying, okay, let's all work together. How many millions of gallons per minute are going through this that we need to not worry about flooding out oil dam and not worrying about Springfield and going like down to Hartford where it's, it's always easier to start at the top of the hill because they can back it up that we're getting the blunt of it. Yeah. Has there been any talk, a discussion, a mediator, or somebody to talk into all these department owners and saying, we all need to work together for the Valley. So when the That's fellow cool. came to talk that day, we had that information yeah. session. He was Andrew, Adam Smith, the maybe, whatever. He, he yeah. was yeah. He was saying yeah. there was some talk, but I don't know if there's much listening. Yeah. Well, he's That's, also, I mean... <clears throat> Plan. We could spend all this money on the dike over there, but if those that are below us aren't willing to work with us, we're going to have this problem again. So it doesn't matter if global warming stopped today. There's still going to be a problem from those down south that don't care about us up north. That's a really good point. I'm just saying what can be done to opening up the floodgates more? What's below Hartford? Okay, Maybe down in Greenwich to and all like that, for whatever dams they TV. have. Working together to not flooding out. Well, I agree with you. You're absolutely right. North of us and south of us, we have to work with them because it's all one big system. Mm -hmm. And when that emergency response guy came, um, he put the fear of God in me about having. But um, he mostly talked about the past, though. He didn't really. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's like the past. But knowing is, that, yeah. if, he, if he knows yeah. this and Hadley has the potential, then. If he knows it, why hasn't he or somebody else said, we need to talk to these owners of these dams? It's somebody Instead else. of just putting the fear of God in this, uh, this is what's going to happen. Yeah, why yeah. can't See, somebody... You're absolutely right. Okay. Right. And, and, you know, it's kind of the last town standing is just going to get inundated. You know, you wonder two, three weeks from now when they're reporting from California, they're yeah. shoveling the mud. Who got crushed and sort of where did the, the water all drain to? Well, I right. just say, I mean, that's it. So I just want to say, I don't think that's acceptable here. We feed people, right? We're the farming. Oh, people. right. So we're the ones. Who, so that is, so you can't, I mean, I, I don't, yeah. anyway, I don't oh, know. They don't, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. 
Even though we're feeding them, they don't care. So all of a sudden, the price goes up when they wonder why it goes up because you didn't care that it flowed up. The last, I think that's where, find, if this person knows that there's an issue, it's easy to put fear of God in us to this and then go, I, I warned you, but does nothing about it. If he knows there's an issue. It's up to us. I know that. If, but he knows the people yeah. to talk to. He knows the contacts. I think he really does. You don't know that until the questions are asked. But it's not his responsibility. It's, not it's, not it's, not it's, it's his yeah. responsibility to scare us. Right? Yeah. Right? That's it's okay thing. to scare us. It's yeah. just his Say, thing. Okay, yeah. it's, it's just so the thing. But maybe, it's not our responsibility, but I'm going to say. So maybe number two on our list is what can we as a committee be doing to help out with Hadley's slice of the, the dike problem and any flooding issues? I think we need to get in touch with Joe Comerford and say to her exactly what you said, that we we need a comprehensive plan that applies to all the towns Definitely. along the river. No, the, last bad, right. the last bad flood was in, I think it was 2009 or 10, August, and the dams were full. And they didn't release the water. Right. And it, the combination of the full dams and the excess water created a mess that ruined a lot acres of farmland. And it didn't have to. Irreparable. Yeah. They still aren't. Well, they still aren't aren't farmland is so precious. Well, and Alan, you're absolutely right. They you could, if they had been talking, they could have released some yeah. of the water earlier and yes. saved a lot of people. They chose not to. A lot of right. All because of this. Well, get, talk to our state representatives in this area and say, hey, you need to work on it. It's not just, it's not just money. You got to bring up the topic with people. It's, you know, just like you're blaming so-and-so They didn't and so care for not about doing the farmland. They think exactly. Well, they're not going to care. Well, they, they, they care more about their own community. Of course they care. Yeah. Right. You, you you they don't. Yeah. Personally, I think they care a little bit about the farmland because this is some of the best in the world. I think they do care a little bit. And, you know, they're always advertising farms and seasons. The water, and that. the water was over the tassels on cow corn. Think about that for a second. We need a better plan. I mean, because the flooding is going to get worse. You know, the only legitimate been. use of the flood and control reservoirs up north is to remain as empty as safely possible. So that in the case of an emergency, they can take on the maximum water. But they that was the original intent. They're using them now to hold on to water in case we have drought in the summer. And then we can have uh, some water in the river. Stockpile. And I fought with the Army Corps of Engineers in the 1980s. I wrote and circulated a petition. And they agreed to meet a huge meeting at Hopkins Cafeteria. The marina people, the farmers from surrounding towns. There was zero cooperation from them. And, uh, zero not cooperation from the Army right. Corps. Yeah. Um, you know, I used to call every spring up north. Well, we know now who to get in right. touch with. It's this right. MVP program. So this has, they literally yeah. have millions of dollars, yeah. and, and they'll give you technical assistance. They'll help you work up a plan. I mean, it is a program. But that's not this committee's job, correct? Yeah, it is. Well, it is. again, you know, um, help the town evaluate, choose, and implement actions that promote sustainable practice. I mean, it's okay. our job well, that, to talk to yes. Carol and to, to get Joe Comerford right. or Dan you know, Carrier. That would be good. Other town, mm -hmm. you know, we to like get the ball rolling. Get the ball rolling. Get the Western Ohio State representatives. If he's concerned about the side, okay, we right. need to the worry river, about it. instead of no, just the Connecticut River flooding is a huge big deal. So it is. It will be So introducing buildings, the dike. While we have the bigger crew here, <laughs> what other things do you have on the list? Your concerns. Well, I brought up my concern uh, at the last meeting, was, which was the the uh, the push to have solar is 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 really taking off, and it's uh, if if we're if we're trying to even attempting to move to twenty thirty and twenty fifty, it's gonna it's gonna require solar energy if we're closing nuclear plants and then. Uh, gas, uh, natural gas uh, pipeline is not coming in. So, if you're talking about enough land to make that that kind of solar happen, it my concern is that you're talking about forest land and farmland. We can't do that. It's happening already. No, but it's there's also parking lots, roofs. No, no. 
Yeah, but you I can say that down too. Yes, I know. <laughs> But I don't. I don't agree that it's okay to cut down trees to put up salt. Okay, but they did it right in Shrewsbury and and yeah, my own shit. The wild card with solar is those panels last twenty years. Yeah, yeah, twenty twenty. And what are you gonna do with the old panels? You have to recycle. Right. Something they don't recycle. Like they don't recycle. It's an yes, perfect they do. solution. No, no, so that. Yeah. I got a question. Who owns the property? Where the uh, the dump is? Does the town own that? Was is it now owned by? Yeah, yeah. Do so, do so, do so do or whatever they do. So. I don't think so. Oh. If, like you said, everybody hates the seeing of solar farms of knocking down trees. Is there enough of land there to put solar there to help oversight the electric for a part of <laughs> until it floods? Then it's going to be a big mess. But I, I'm sorry. I hope that no, they never no, be true. Just think, thinking of ideas of, of thinking of. It's looking a lot if you mash. I would think that would actually flood. It's built up so high. You're probably right. You know, but but I think some people elevate it so. Just dumps yeah. it down into your air. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, but so it's it's like thinking for places like that. Point. And we don't have enough of roof square footage so for it to supplement any of these buildings. So, <laughs> so, Tony, to your solar concern, you know, first of all, there's hundreds of acres of parking lots in Hadley. There, there really are. Think of the balls. Truly, there's big parking lots. Mostly privately owned. Privately owned. No, I know, but I'm just saying, if you're looking for some land, there's an idea. They could make money off of it. They would be doing it. But Jack, yeah, the right. Town has to do something. Right. Jack, a long time ago. Yeah, okay. yeah. Some kind of movement towards and it might alternative contract. Yes, you know. But to to your point, if anybody who wants to do it on their private land, on their own private land, they have to go through all sorts of permitting processes and everything. So I guess I'm just wondering, like. I don't want to prevent private people from making private choices by their own private land. But who would you who would you limit? Well, a, a, a moratorium. What I'm what I'm suggesting is a moratorium, which is only a pause, and that means a, a pause to to start stop. What I what I don't want to happen is what's happening in other communities that they are, um, you know, these solar projects are coming in and they're having to respond very quickly. In Shutesbury, they're cutting down sixty acres and. And on the cave, no, I think they, they are on a pause on that, they they're not going to do that. that, right? And, and on the cave, there's another, uh, these grassroots groups are having to spring up to try to, um, you know, question where these things are. Being so, I actually was asking Jack about this, uh, yesterday. Do it does Hadley have a bylaw uh, concerning our forest? We have a we okay. have we have some zoning laws, and I, I mean, I'm not an expert on all the laws, but from what I saw, it's it's not very detailed, and it's mostly it addresses aesthetics and things like that. Yeah. Well, so if you take a look at all the solar developments in Hadley, all the big ones, so you have the one on Huntington that's up against the hill. It's not really the Pri best land. Privately owned. Privately owned. You have the one by the mall. Privately the big owned. ones, it's sort of in a swamp or a swampy-ish area. Privately owned, though. Privately owned. Yep. Behind my house, privately owned. Yeah, who owns that one? Like Edwards. A okay. three hundred and fifty year old farmland they've got up. Yeah, that's a sin. That is. Well, the town would. Well, that's, it's there. It's there. It's there. The town will have a extra small community. So it's yeah. like I need to make money somehow. So yeah, we get it benefiting him. It's yeah. It's you know. their right if they want to use their. Now we have solar at our place. Well. On the roof it's, it's, of it's your barn. And regular. Talk about and and it's when it, it's, it's uh, protected year it's not exactly the right seven. We're all, we got one, one year left on the protecting farmland is being maintaining yeah. and farmland. The yeah. deal yeah. that yeah. they sold. Right, us. but unless yeah. there's two conversations. Yeah. 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 So go ahead, Tony, finish up and then <laughs> well yeah, uh, I am I'm, I'm saying I, I don't I don't I don't yeah. feel that we're prepared as a community to to actually address these questions. And um there are from what I've been reading, there are concerns that there's there's lobbying going on right now to change the APR um, rules so that 
uh, you know, more APR land could be actually used. Wait, for what's APR? Yeah. It's the farm that's the protection. Uh, agricultural protection. Yeah. So uh, no, we have we have yeah. APR. Yeah, it's Hadley and and Amherst. I think have the largest amounts of APR. A lot of protection. So they can't protection. put solar there. No, right. no solar in APR. Yeah. Okay. But if they lobbied, if they were to change that, uh, and but I think they can. They can change it all by well, they, themselves. They, they can do well, whatever they, they have, want. We have, want. We have a new governor. We have a lot. There's, there's a, a no, lot. but you're, you're right. We need to pay attention. We, we need I'll, to be on this. Yeah. All I'm saying is that's. Yeah. 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 I would love it if our. Some kind of survey of. That actually is probably the place. And, and to decide not where it's going to happen, but where it. Should happen if it's going to happen at take, all. Take a look. Like at what land land. It's just bleh, yeah. not good farm. Now, with solar, it isn't just putting up the uh, solar panels itself. There's a lot of things that go into the, like the lines. There has to be transmissions. You yeah. can't just say, "I feel like putting it here." It's got to be. Uh, um, I, know. I know. I mean, there is solar by now. It is a big deal. Yeah. yeah. But so, how many more years do you have on your system? You were saying. Yeah. We have one year left on our lease, and what they sold us, now, please don't get mad at me yeah. when I say this, what they sold us and what actually happened isn't the truth. It isn't. Is this solar on your house? Or no, at a business. Business. To buy and farm. Yep. And it's, believe me, it's been well, a positive what? in North Bend. No, I mean, you like it? You said it's been a positive. It's been a positive that we don't have an electric bill, but... It wasn't what we thought. In they, what way? They mm -hmm. it didn't it didn't promise the returns that they said it was gonna. Mm. It didn't give you yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh it's it's no it's okay. So what happens when the lease expires? Do you still get money from it? Yeah, we will own it. Okay. I'm very apprehensive. Is uh, the the goal we have here for the electric cars and everything. The state of Massachusetts, I don't think, did any research. The state of Massachusetts copied a law from California. And uh, we're going to have a new energy head for the state of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't ask my permission to go all electric cars by 2050. There was a mandate, which I don't think they have the right. You know, that should be up to the consumer. Up to the private sector. I think you can drive a gas car, car, car as long as you want. The market. So no, no, no. Then why? Then why do you have this goal? Fifteen dollars a gallon. Right? Why do you have this goal that uh, we're going to be? Uh, they're going to get rid of gas cars because the because the gas is polluting the air. I mean, that's the thing to remember here. It's scary making these big changes. I, I, it makes me nervous too. But all the fossil burning fuel for. Our cars to heat buildings, all the electricity is causing too much pollution. I and mean, we have to accept that. What about wood burning stoves? All that stuff, burning stuff is polluting. Um, so we so now you could say that. No, I'm not saying well, well, you have saying, to do but, anything. But when no, they're saying but we can't have gas stoves sun? anymore. What? We can't have a gas stove? It's not a fossil fuel, right? It's yes. a carbon, it, it, no, it's it not creates a carbon, a carbon footprint. It creates a carbon footprint. So one thing that's interesting, even about wood stoves, is my more so stove that's four years old, five years. Now it actually has like this little sort of catalytic catalytic side, so it actually burns a cleaner before it goes out into the air. So there are ways that you can actually burn yeah. some of these things. Yeah. Cleaner. Your point about the cars. I got a few years on. Oh, hold on, hold on. I was able to purchase my grandfather's 1954 Ford. Uh huh. It's original, like you came from the factory. Mm -hmm. It gets uh, 18 miles to a gallon, uh, six-cylinder car. So that's how they had it. Uh, so that's no good. So now I have this other car. I got a, a Honda. I was able to get it. My brother passed. He left me a car. So I got this car. And it's 300 horsepower, six-cylinder. It gets uh, 28 miles to a gallon. My point is, that things get better. Right. We don't have to be running around pounding our head into the wall saying this is bad. But I do like the old car. That's all. And I explain But yeah, and it's things for tractors. Tractors went from gas. Well, 
gas to uh diesel. The diesel. To diesel. And in, in our family here, it's done with horses. You know, they still had to put the button. Don't laugh. The, the, the bike product was is as manure. you have to replace these things, the, with the consider upgrading to the more modern thing, which is electric. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I drive a 2006 Toyota Matrix. I get 40 miles to the gallon in this car. It's got a Corolla engine. I'm 70 years old. I doubt I'm, I mean, I'm probably going to drive that car until I die. You know, I'm not gonna, I can't afford an electric car, but, but my kids can. People you know, are, you know, skeptical. Yes, that's apprehensive. So it's going to be man You should let your card in the north. And it's, especially it's, farmers. It's good. It's like ATMs and debit cards and cell phones. Not it's quite. Gonna yeah, have not, quite. Sorry. not quite. Whether we're skeptical or not. So it's the northeast it, also. You know, yeah. it's just going to happen yeah. bit by bit. So the future. Before before we move on, I, um, I just want to make sure that, so this is your second time bringing this up. I really appreciate yeah. it. I just want to make sure we're addressing that. And you'll come back. In the yeah. <laughs> so, that, so that you don't have to, and you're welcome anytime. Well, but so I, 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 I brought the, the idea here because, I, because yeah. I thought it related to, to the mission. It's it's something that, that was really, uh, it's, it's a town issue. Yeah. I don't, it's a, that, that, that the town would have to look at it, something that the town, if, if if there were a pause, or or even if, if the if the planning um, the planning commissioners, there was some group was looking at it. Uh, that's I would I'd like. Yeah, to see I guess I guess I'm board. wondering why you're not going through the planning board. I started here. I just uh, it's because it, it's. I, so that's that really it. their job. Yeah. Why well, to plan? I don't think electric cars are safe. Oh, well, why not? Because if an electric car gets on fire. How do you think you put it up? I'm serious. You're not the fire fireman. I don't know. I don't know. I know people figure it out there. Yeah, yeah. And but they just, I think, they just I think they're like out your thought. What were you saying about the figures? I think I, I think this, I think this, this is something that's being the if there's a moratorium then it, it needs to be with, with a with a goal, not just not just to stop doing it. It needs to be let's pause, let's mm -hmm. let's look at this and yes. then we'll Yeah, that. well so again I think the concern is you know, people getting really upset if you say, guess what? You want to use your land this way? We're not going to allow that. I think that's one of the big concerns. It's interesting because Orange at their town meeting, voters next moratorium on large-scale battery energy storage. So they just voted against it because they said there were other things in place, especially like through their planning board and things where it had to be reviewed. And they they took it that way and they just said it's sort of a moot point. If we're handling it through the planning board, you don't have to do a moratorium. You know, it, it's going through if that. If you line. have your planning board paying attention. And so there's a piece of land up in Northfield. Yeah. All right. Like 50 acres. Probably the nicest land on planet Earth. For farming? <laughs> yes. And the person wants to put up solar panels. And the neighbors took them to court to shut it down. And they still have not ruled on it. Now, one side of the... Uh, of the uh, Argument says that's my land. I can do whatever I want. On the other side, you got this beautiful farmland, and you're going to put up solar panels, so it's done. Uh, wow, but boy, that that's kind of sort of challenging the core of this country and the foundation of you got your own land, you can't uh, use it the way you want. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's farmland. Farm, farmland is, is but farmland is it got a certain number, and once it's gone, it's gone. I, I know. I, I just think yeah, it's really tricky business to say. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a lot. Right. And a lot of land is zoned agricultural slash slash residential. Right. Which means anybody that owns a farm right now in these zones, they can sell it to whoever to build a little. The only thing that's saving is the APR. What? The APR. Yes. It's a zone issue, in other words. There's a lot of things that relate back to zoning and to who can use their land for what reasons and who's going to say what they can use it for. So I, I mean, it's, just, it's a big topic. And yeah, it's I've got to keep looking at Yeah, I think the planning that. board is a good way to go. And, you know, I... I used to teach in Northfield. I think I have land you're talking about. I wonder how that court case is going to play out. I don't think it's decided yet. Mm -hmm. Tony, will you go? Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a very, very important valid point. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think they 
they have power in this town and in so many other towns. I think if you want to try to move this forward, go through them. I think we they don't have, have much power. power on something like that. We do. We have nothing. <laughs> You're talking about BD cars of how much you love them. A battery not a warranty. Yeah, a battery. A battery that's not a warranty costs sixteen thousand yeah. dollars. Right. Right. So, vehicle that costs forty thousand dollars, you're spending half the value of that car for a battery and electronics and the rust and the corrosion and the salt and the weather. You could put an engine in a car in a truck for five thousand dollars. You're gonna roll around with a truck with a gas vehicle. Although for the electric car, the motor costs nothing. You're right. Yeah. The battery is everything. The battery. The battery. The battery. You know, you know better. Better uh, statistic. And your brother told me it's Joe, right? <laughs> Joe priced the uh, electric truck delivery truck for the farm, and the price was four hundred and ninety-three thousand dollars. And the batteries are so heavy, it cannot take much of a load, and it doesn't have the ability to make a round trip from Hadley to the Chelsea Market and back. So I'm not, not totally not. Now, do you understand why I do not want to promote any effort organization that's going to point at me and say, you've got to do this? And for track. Yeah, and right. I don't know of an organization yeah. that's saying that, that's pointing at but, you, saying we mandate that you but, get. But that's the 25th. The word is fear. People are fear. Okay, I mean, you can be afraid, but. But we're we're not doing that. We don't intend to do that. So well, I don't know what to tell you. because we don't have the power to do. I can't. I'm just expressing so, well, Yeah, and, and I'm actually impressed that he's actually pricing that out. If he's 64 years old, that, that's <laughs> yeah. I give him a lot of credit. Right. If he's doing that. Right. I'm not even going to say how old well he is. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so we have some priorities to think about, to talk about. I want to let you know that I put out an email today to Rich and Matthew, I think is his name. As soon as they get information on those buildings, they're going to get us back to us so we can move forward on green communities one way or the other. Which means making those, whatever their recommendation is about making those buildings more efficient. It's we have to get this report into mass DOER. By March 30th. That's their next so round. Every they second. give us the audit. They tell us this needs to be repaired. On whatever these buildings are. Or the score. Or whatever it is. And then <clears throat> that's where if we say that the town is, what will allow them to give us this $130,000 for this? So if, it, if they can find a whole chunk of older buildings and say insulation. Sure. Whatever mm -hmm. we can set a goal, you know, whatever that goal will be, it's an aspirational goal. You mm -hmm. don't actually have to hit it. You hope you come close. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll say, good enough. You qualify. That's the last thing. Now, from here on out, Hadley's going to be tracking their utilities because I don't think there's a single soul in Hadley, even the town accountant or treasurer, who can say how much Hadley spends on the utility bills for their buildings. I don't think there's a single person who knows that answer because we haven't been able to find them. There's, so when we so when we get this audit, they're going to say it's going to cost hundred and say uh, they would. This is what needs to be done. A number of one hundred and thirty thousand dollars came up that the state would give us. Is that that because that was the first number that you had said is one hundred and thirty grand that they would give us for a grant if the town agrees to be green. That, that's what that's if how we I are working report. toward improvement. Okay. If we're working toward that, right. goal. I mean, so we're going to work towards improvement to getting that audit. They're going to say you need to. This is what needs to be done. It's going to cost you forty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars, whatever it is, for the town to being more upgrade, upgrade, efficient. more more efficient. efficient. Yeah. All those. So that's one thing that's on the docket, or what would we want to call for making our buildings more efficient. Right. right. So that's, we hear they won't do windows. I understand. Which is uh, they, I understand, especially when it comes to the, the town hall. Yeah. When you have those uh, asbestos glazing, I understand completely. Right. I understand. Because it's part of historical and it's too bad you yeah. can't 
buy outside that building and spend, instead of spending 20 grand to scrape it and paint it every five years. So that's going to be on part of our thoughts of what we want to do here. Now, we've talked about it, but is who's the person that's going to be speaking to about the dams? The Can't. dams, Turner okay. Falls, Polio. Yep. So make sure, make sure that you separate those. Yeah, right. But I mean, but this is built. But we're, yeah. But we are still talking about the dike, erosion, uh, climate change that we, that came into the storm. Yeah, but the green community is not talking about just, kind of just dive veer to the left. The one. dike yeah. is the part dike is of this little okay. green yeah. community. So, sure. yeah. yeah, we're interested in the dike. Who do we go to to say, I'm interested in this issue? How can I help get it done? Well, Carolyn Brown. Carolyn, Carolyn Brown, Brown Joe Comerford. Dan Carey, those I mean, are Carolyn reps. is working with an engineer to that. figure out yes. what yeah. needs okay. to happen. The dike is the dike, it's the people that control the other waterway. Yeah, control the dike. Yeah. It, it controls the, the water the around. Key. Exactly. It's a huge issue because you have to have the other keys. You can keep on fixing it and fixing yeah. it, and that's not the problem. Get to the right. solution, be more proactive, not reactive yeah. or being reactive about it. Proactive is who controls the water and talking to well, who can. Uh, all of up. the yeah. things that you're bringing up is super important. Right to your representative. I think we need a solution. We need you to look at this and give us a solution. And because you think they'll, give, you us, think they'll we, give us solutions? Well, by writing. No, they're working yeah. on it now. Yeah. Uh, what I'm saying is that all of you guys need to maybe set up a meeting with Carolyn, our town manager, because she is working with an engineer about plans yeah. for the dike now as we speak to her credit she's not just letting it sit because she knows it's a big deal that goes right through the heart of how so if you want to know what's going this. on with it and you have ideas but about she, how it she's working be. on it slowly but isn't that what your committee is you're supposed to be doing <laughs> we didn't want us to do it but <laughs> aren't you the committee for helping bettering the town and making oh, it be done and We're being the dike isn't us. isn't that what this community's Committee's four. So in January, we met with her. I have to say that. You're, this you is your committee. Somebody else to do it. You're the committee yeah. for the things that you want for the town. Thanks. So it's, it's yeah, go ahead, so, Kevin. Hearing this, so we need to, all of us, is not your committee to present. Yeah. All of us need to get to like, okay, we need to give a solution to We need us to get a protection to this. All of us. I guess the first so, question is who well, the You know, I heard people say in the family. Mary, go ahead. First question. Well, what if we were to set up yeah. another meeting with Carolyn and if I do all come? Sure. Because you have literally thought of things. Right. I, I haven't lived in happy that long. So I don't I don't know what Maybe you there's like a dice. I'm I'm concerned, but I, I don't to keep accountable. That's the thing. That's like, the idea. Native, yeah. native, native. I have people in the meeting saying, you know, I don't want the government doing this. I don't native. Native. I don't want the government doing stuff either, but sitting in this room and in town. Yeah, we do want we the government the to do we do want the government. government to do some things. We are. <laughs> so I guess that's a, that is a great idea. Yeah. Finding out, getting a hold of this person, having a little discussion about this thing. What do we need to do of being proactive instead of reactive? If it does need to be repaired, yes. Okay, we know that's going to happen. But what do we do pre proactive in case there is a hurricane? If it is, there is a flooding. <laughs> Ten inches of rain. Or if there's down. five bands of storm like California is going to be. Right. As to, yeah. okay, who's going to be that person in charge to say, like you say, FEMA is dams. in charge of a bunch of things saying, okay, this person's in charge saying, open up, open up, open up, get this water moving before this area floods in, up. In some ways, you're right. If you took down all the dams, I wonder what would really happen. Well, I didn't say take them down, just lower them. But Jack did, cool. or did control them better. better. Or, yes. But see, it's all cool. of these things you're bringing up because Carolyn is working with an engineer right now. You guys, you need to be talking with her and find out are they paying attention to these things? Uh, you know, yeah. like because we've met with her, but 
honestly, she hasn't given us very much information. Spending millions on the dike is a, is the answer, but it's not really the answer because it's controlled by the other waters. Uh, but still, I think the dike still well, because that's right. It's still protection. Protection. It's still it's still right. Right. Well, the way it's measured is it needs to be much higher than it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, higher. Right. I mean, Tony, all the priority. Hi, Tony had a point. I, I think it would, I think your brother told the story, Joe, that, that at the public forum about the, about the dams. Yes, that there was a it was a it was a crisis because some of them, the state that they they didn't even know who owned them, but they're trying to track that. They, they don't even have a list, and it could it have been fixed like, easily. It seems like that should be an emergency. They should have them on speed dial for emergencies. They should be able to contact them mm -hmm. immediately, but. I, apparently, that's not the case. There's some. There's not the reason that. none of us could and get in touch with Dan Perry or Joe yeah. Comfort yeah. to find out. You like, got more dirt. Oh, I wish I knew more about acres, this yeah, damn yeah. situation. Yeah. But, oh, you know, are yeah. the towns yeah. talking to each other? And what about this? Well, and you know, millions of dollars. See, one of you would be better at doing this from no For all we know, some of these conversations might be happening. They're just not talking to us. So it if we set up happening. a meeting with these, that would be great. Absolutely. Would you guys come? Uh, uh, absolutely. Yes, At least yeah. ask me yes, those there. questions. You know all this stuff. You know. So <laughs> now the, the thing is, I'm not sure about her schedule, if she can make it the second Thursday, if she can stay overtime, maybe she can't. But this is a big deal. But maybe we need a meeting on a different, different time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need gel. What? We need gel. Yeah. Joe, who's brought you He knows everything. He sure does. <laughs> Absolutely. He knows all about this because yeah. he. But will he come? He'll come. I'll get him. <laughs> I'll get a halter. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I can bring Wally too. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a family thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just wonder, you know, is this really true that there's so many people with so many little dams around? Are they really right. out there? I no, mean, the same the age. age. I was I was shocked by that. I, I, if I you ask yourself the same question, is that true? Yeah. Just think about this. If it rains six inches and then three inches on top of that. So you're talking 10 inches of rain. And if the dams fill up and then they got to be empty because they're overfilling, overfilling, the farmland is going to be gone. So these small dams that are on tributaries that are connected to the river. Mm -hmm. it's, not right. it's not the big ones mm -hmm. on the river. That's Sorry. correct. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, that Hurricane Irene event, that was, awesome. that was extraordinary. It was not necessary. <laughs> right, uh, right, right. Absolutely unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, I'll tell you, uh, seriously, that was, the, was that was the storm of the century, yeah. thousand miles across. They were talking about it on, on evening news every day for a week and a half before it came. Right. They started releasing the, the uh, reservoirs up north. A day or two before the yes. hurricane struck, yeah. they raised the height of Connecticut River so high. Rain started and had the at two p.m. I pay attention to this. The Connecticut River was swirling and churning chocolate milk and logs at noon before a drop of rain had happened in the north. Mm. There's your coordination. We didn't have to lose those crops that we lost. Oh my so, god! So now maybe the person to get in touch with. I mean, is this? Management of the Connecticut River, but it's also the little tributaries that feed yeah, into it. Is that, 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 that where a lot yeah. of these dams are? I mean, where that comes from? I mean, the Connecticut Connecticut River. Well, the, he, yeah. he yeah. has yeah. hired this new climate op officer. You no, know, like as part of this her, um, her her cabinet, and maybe you know management of of the Connecticut River. We, maybe we need to get in touch with her. That's bad. That's, this needs to be a, a comprehensive plan. That's for sure. So regional, in other words. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's what you guys are bringing up, that it's not just the dikes, but it's all these little dams as well, and that somebody needs to be looking at the whole big picture. Yeah. And, and somebody's got to be held accountable. Well, and, but it's not just accountable. We want it to be better. It's not just accountable for when it goes you, bad. Yeah, it will not let this happen again. That plan it doesn't help to, any yeah. to manage it. So it doesn't that, help any farmer in Hadley if somebody gets fired at the end. You know, the person who's right. being held accountable. Prevention. That, that'd be a, I want to protect a yeah, right, right, right. 
Yep. Right. And this goes to your point, Kelly, of you wonder new items working with the town to address concerns about the dike and asking Grant Writer to look into infrastructure money for dike maintenance. It has not been maintained very well. So it's not just the dike, though. Yes. Yeah. So this is regional management of the dams, yeah. right? Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Bigger. yes. That's the bigger picture. Right. Yes. So the, 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 uh, the goal right now, the action that we have at a meeting so with Caroline, it was the 21st, Caroline, whatever the date yeah, that she can do as so soon as days. possible, mm -hmm. invite them all and uh, your brother. Yeah, let's see if this is happening. What action we can do. Right, is Carolyn working on this or yeah. do we need to go? So, yeah, this is, in on it. this is interesting. You know, back last April, we had a climate day. There should be another day about the dike or something like that. However, we can figure out to get Carol in here and whoever. But we need somebody working on a regional plan. Yeah, well, we've got their not Whoever who has this Carolyn's purse uh, number or. We're talking about account. Carolyn Brennan. Our town manager. Whatever you're talking about. Yeah. Do any of you on this board have that number of contact for making that meeting? Maybe. Yes. I don't know if I have it in my phone, but it, you know, easy enough to get. She's Hadley's town manager, okay. so I can put in a call and just say, "Hey, so next month it's February 9th. Um, can you join us February 9th? If you can't make it in February 9th, can you join us the second Thursday in March and give her bullets and give her bullets about yeah. the concerns? Because and all she'd say is, "I can get. I'll get a hold of you, and I'll let you know." Give her ahead of time and say about these are questions yeah. about the controlling the dams down the river, the which is affecting the dike. Yeah. So, okay. how do I get a hold of all of you folks? Just put on the website. Mm -hmm. Just put it on the agenda. Yeah. Okay. And that works. Spreads pretty. Is it pretty easy for you to work your way around what we have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's got to go. Uh, I think with Carolyn, just give her give her options when she can meet. You know, yeah, I think that's yeah, that doesn't have to be, uh, you don't like that. Well, we're yeah. flexible to her. Yeah. 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 No, I mean another evening. Okay. It I'll see meet. if she can do it. And if she knows a month ahead of time. She can, maybe, just maybe. She can, she can meet. Sir, think positive. Station besides the Connecticut River Conservancy that looks at the watershed. Connecticut River Watershed Council. Connecticut River Watershed. Yeah. Yes. And, and you know, some of those are private, and I just wonder if there's a public is that who's managing all the water. I mean, right. I mean, yeah. It's got to be. It's to making that decision. Is, yeah. What's the plan to the rest of the feet? Right. Let's open the dam. Okay. We're not with they all. A week before. Yeah, there's civil defense to run services. If you're at, oh, if you're at 22. You completely drop the ball. I agree. What? Ruin. The University of Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. Ruin. Yeah, we're at 22. We're not going to open until they're 25, but they've got 30. So, so there's an extra so five I'm, feet flooding it out. It is. It's a big issue, issue. for sure. Dear, and it, it speaks to your yeah, issue with the dike too, and um, big concern. And the water was like four feet. feet from the well, it's still water. Yes. Yeah. Four feet. Tim, not our Imagine that. So unbelievable. Tim was the uh, former building inspector. He wrote the least. And Probably. roaring. Yeah. Tell you what, and then. Yeah. Did you jump out there? Yeah. Do you all know? Thanks for coming. Is Steve on? Yeah. Just going right through. Okay. Steve, hold on. Go ahead. Ask maybe some of them know. Tim Neidhart was a building commissioner, and he had, um, right now, he's got a company that he's looking at water. I can't remember the terms for it, but whenever things flood, when pipes overflow or um, stormwater management, storm management. That's, he might be. Would he be somebody who could civil defense to uh, all that he, too? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I know. Here, but who is doing that now in Hadley? I think it might be your fire chief. Okay. It used to be okay. my brother was doing. Right. It. It's doing what? The civil defense kind of thing. Yeah, that's national disaster, sort of public safety under natural disasters. That's not preventative. Is it? It's more responsive to when there's an emergency. You can't you can't go around and fix the problem until you find out yeah, where, what the problem is, where the water is coming from. You know what happens is the water level comes up through the ditches. All the yeah. ditches here, the drainage ditches come, and it floods that way. The the water comes up the ditch, 
and then it gets out of the ditch and it, it goes down and all kind of flows backwards and, and then it, it goes, goes right to the river yeah. and there yeah and that happens good. with the heavy rain and the combination of all the above um, so last year was super dry didn't have rain for about two months hold it jack yeah. it was super dry but the year before it's 60 poured. inches between july and december so the year before wet wet. i was spearing up to my knees in right mud. right so the moral of the story is we cannot control the weather. We it's can't. I'm right. getting more. No, but that's why what we do with our, I mean, to sound all like important, street. what we do with our infrastructure yeah. is so important. So we know we're going to have this wacky weather. So what can we do to help ourselves? So we're not just at the mercy of it. And part of my point is you never know what never. you're going to get from year to year. Never. Last August, well, this whole last year was the sixth hottest year on record mm -hmm. since they've been keeping records since the early 1800s, mid 1800s, something like that. Actually, so many of these last 10 years have been super warm. Mm -hmm. But I'll go back to the year before with all the rain. Degree days was down 20%. So nobody has a crystal ball what's going to happen this Well, that's this why year. we don't know whether that hurricane will come up the Connecticut River again. And oh, that and would not be good. That right. Would be good. They built that dike in 1936, and then they had a flood that came in after the dike was built, and it still flooded everything in the habit. So clearly and that has been dike built. Oh, yes. to understand that yeah. you can build a dike four times the size of that one, and West will still flood. The difference, it's backwater rather than current. That's correct. That's what they're trying to avoid. Oh, up we go from the Aquavita end, of, south end of, yeah. uh, it will always flood. If, if, we to, if we were to say that whole Route 9 area, all of that, from actually flooding, that plan has to go into effect. Right. However, the big concern with the dike is if it collapsed, which it did in 1936, and you would have such a tremendous current coming through, that's where you get your destruction. I mean... Well, so the whole... The current, the dike we have now needs to be yeah. much improved. It would change the all, all the way around. Which all the way. The oh, to stop to the West Street, Street, Route 9, all of this that way from getting wet. Yeah, I'd have to go all the way to the bank, to the Middle Street, to Middle Street, yeah, okay. South End. So that's, so we need to meet with Carolyn and so. see what she's cooking up with this engineer. Like, what are their plans? Are they going to do that? I mean... Yeah. That would be a, on a, a huge project. project. Well, we don't know what you know. Oh, yeah. it should be a tremendous, <laughs> tremendous <laughs> project. So, well, but, well, we got nobody else to work but us. And and we have this MVP program that's got. Yeah, that's there's right. tons of money yeah, there. So right, right. So right. now would be the little Hadley has a big project. <laughs> and Dan, when did they rebuild it? When did it slide down? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. The and it would take every middle ladies. No, I was in selectment. I would see about. You put sheeting in for the repair because that's what they do in the, on the Mississippi. Yeah. Boom, you, you can go right in there. And wow. At that time, when it happened, it was, I think, uh, in February. Mm -hmm. And we were worried about water and snarch and all that. Yeah, melt. And so it had to be done now. ASAP. Well, also, we have got a lot of, and I'll say this, uh, our state representative, uh, John Seibach, who knocked on... Uh, the Vault Patrick's door, yeah. he opened it up and away we went. Yeah. Huh. So, yeah. Rosenberg, too? I just remember calling Mr. Seibach. Oh, yeah. The uh, Rosenberg so was. Do you think about what Hampton did not long ago? As far as the stormwater management, is there a dike in North Oh, yeah. They have a and better dike system than we do. There. They have a they have a better dike system than we do. Well, so anyway, I think we'll, okay. we'll have a plan of action. Yeah. And let's move on. So yeah. 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 So February 9th is the next meeting. I hope to have some numbers back about the buildings. Um, and yeah. Okay. And we'll see what happens with Carolyn.